In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can build a powerful web app and landing page in under 10 minutes with no coding experience whatsoever. CopyCoder just launched their builder feature and it is wild. I used it to plan, design, and then launch a case study builder for startups and freelancers. And I'm gonna show you how you can do that in this video. We built the dashboard, we built the image generator, we built the testimonial section. Everything in this application built out, fleshed out using CopyCoder and then we built the landing page to market it, to go with it, which is pretty cool. And if you're into building fast with AI and you're a non-technical person that wants to ship their own software, and build their own software, then this is the channel for you. Hit like, hit subscribe and join the family today. Without any further ado, let's get into the video straight away. Okay, so we're in copycoder.ai. You wanna to come to the builder feature and then you'll be hit with this. You either wanna build a landing page or a web app. We're gonna start with a web app and then we're gonna put in what are we building? This is the prompt. So let's think about this. Okay, could you please build a lightweight case study builder for startups and freelancers that would easily turn client wins into kind of beautiful use, uh, beautiful case studies that you could maybe export or embed. Um, and there'll be like no designing or writing needed on, on the part of the startup or the freelancer. Okay, awesome. Cool, so we popped in our prompt, easy as that. And then what you wanna do is you wanna hit generate web app. Now, what Copy Coder is gonna do with their builder feature is literally build out all of the pages and then what goes onto each of those pages for your app. So, you know, with a lot of no code builders, you start with the prompt and you kind of put in a prompt and it will kind of think for itself. It will use AI to kind of give you something as an output. With this, it's literally saying, okay, this is gonna be page one, like you can see here, dashboard, we're gonna have on the dashboard a top bar header, which is all your global kind of headers and, and, and items over there. And then we're gonna have a sidebar navigation, which will link into these aspects. So you can review each and every page before you go and prompt, and before you go and execute that prompt. Because a lot of no code, the no code builders, you'll execute prompt after prompt after prompt just to add in what it is that you wanna add in. With this, you can plan it all, and then execute, which is pretty cool. And we're gonna be executing this in cursor. So let's review this first one. We've got a dashboard. Okay, so our top bar header is awesome. We've got quick access to the search case, to search case studies, user profile management, notifications about case study engagements and exports. Okay, cool. Sidebar navigation, primary navigation menu. So we'll be able to menu access this case study show, showcase of the different grids and a quick case builder in terms of forms, which is pretty, pretty awesome. I don't want to change this too much, so we'll go ahead and generate the next page, which is our case studies page that it's generated for us. So if we generate that page, you'll see it will generate the sections in there. So we've got a case study collection grid and a template builder form. Okay, then we've got a template page. I'm going to generate all of these pages, and then I want to see where, I mean, basically how good of an output do we get. Then we're going to go to the settings, generate that. Okay, cool. So we've got system preferences, and that's a form. So you can go ahead and change, add to this. For example, say in the template section, we go ahead and add another section over here. We'll open up this where you can basically add in every anything you would want to. Okay, so let's add something to our pages. In the case study page, one of the things I'm thinking about is maybe like a TLDR, like an AI summary generator, which will summarize your use case or your case study if you're a freelancer or, or a startup down into something that's really concise because you'll build this out to look beautiful in terms of the case study but maybe you want this like a quick the quick insights from it so let's go ahead and see how easy this is to use so if we drag forms across we can add a new form if we go ahead and edit we can go ahead here and say okay we're going to call this maybe ai summary generator Cool. and then we need to give it a description and AI will take that description in and use it to generate the, the, the section of the page. So create a TLDR version of, the, of a case study that provides quick insights. Cool, easy as that. And then you can hit the little tick and there you go, you've added a different section. So you can go through that and add all the sections that you want before you summarize it. Okay, I'm happy with what this or how this looks like. So. Happy with that. Next thing we wanna do is we'll go from the planning tab to the theme tab. Now this is pretty cool in that you can pick the theme. One of the big things with no code builders is you'll get a weird colored theme. Then you gotta like say, okay, no, please can you make the theme more like a, like a purple hue with 
you know, dark undertones, and then it gets that wrong. So this, you can kind of go through all these different templates and say, oh yeah, this is exactly kind of what I want to be able to do. So we're going to make ours fun. And I thought I like this Neo Brutalism one. So we're going to click on that and we hit next. Cool. So now you want to generate your project files and it's literally a tap of the button to download these project files. So we've done that and you'll see over here, it's downloaded our project prompts zip file. So you'll open up that and now we're going to head into cursor, bring those in and then uh, basically run them so we can look at our kind of semi-finished product. Alrighty, so I'm in Cursor. I've opened up uh, to create a new folder. I've called it Client Case Study. Let's create it, let's open it. Boom, we're in Cursor. Now, Client Case Study is the name of our project. What you wanna do is open up the project prompts uh, zip file that's, that you download after you generate it, and then literally copy all those files across and pop them right over here. So you'll get all of these files copied into Cursor. Cool, then what you wanna do is you wanna to come to the right uh, pane over here. We want to make sure it's on agent. And then what you wanna do here is you actually wanna run the setup file. Okay, so the easiest way to run this is to literally type in the word run, put a space bar, and then drag the setup.md file across. It'll add the context and you're good to go. Hit send and it will start running that setup, but we'll set up each of the pages that we've created on copy coder without us having to do anything except approve, you know, some of these uh, functions. But if you also put cursor on YOLO mode, it will basically approve those on your behalf. So you can also do that. So cool, I'm gonna let this run right through and then we can look at the, the output. Also, big news, I'm launching a private community that is focused on helping those who wanna build with AI do so. It's on a first come first serve basis. The waitlist is open right now. So go check it out in the link in the description below and sign up. And just before that, I wanna make sure that we run our theme file so that we can actually implement the theme that we picked out when we set it up initially. So I'm gonna say run at theme.md. So this will bring in that awesome theme to make it look pretty beautiful. Um, and we can go ahead and check it out. Okay, so all of our files have been created, dependencies have been set. And now we wanna go ahead and actually run this to look at what it actually looks like, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring up our terminal and then we're gonna go ahead and say npm run dev. Cool, and let's run that. And now it will run our local host for us. Okay, cool, so we've run our setup and it's created all our pages. And now we've run our theme, which was the theme we picked out when we created this on Copy Coder and it's implemented that theme. So now all we have to do, which we've already done, is do an npm run dev on the terminal and that's this right over here. And we are running this on our local host. So if we click here and we go follow link, this has popped up on my other screen. Let me just drag this across. Boom, this is what we land with. So we've got case study builder. We've got a dashboard. We've got case studies. We've got templates. We've got settings. And right over here, you can go ahead and set all of those things. And it is in that kind of neo-brutalism style. Exactly what we planned on Copy Coder, it's implemented right over here. Exactly kind of what you want. You know exactly what pages you're getting, what sub pages you're getting, the theme it's gonna be built in, and it gives you that perfect starting point to then develop out your web app. Okay, cool. And yeah, like you can go and create a new case study. You would have to work on that functionality because you'd want to actually execute that. So this is more just getting that front end up and running and making it look stunning. Our AI summary that we added is over here, AI summary generator. You can select a case study and then go generate the AI summary, which, you know, over here you can see it's actually given us a couple of examples. Uh, I think that it's generated. So this is the TLDR, too long, uh, didn't read um, sections for AI generated summary. So whatever you add will be created by copy coder when it's executed within cursor. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to create a landing page. And we're gonna do one for the private community that I'm gonna be launching. So you're gonna to come to Builder, you're gonna to come to the landing page, click on that as your generation mode, and then what are we building? Please build a lightweight landing page or slash waitlist for a private AI and automation community, encouraging people to sign up as it's on a first come first serve basis, you know, spots are limited. Cool. That seems pretty straightforward. Obviously there's more into it, but that's exactly what it is. And the actual waitlist is in the description below. So go check that out. Perfect. Then we're gonna go ahead and say generate landing page. Click of a button. It's gonna generate out our pages. Cool, we've got our navigation bar. Then we've got the hero header benefits, how it works, FAQ, CTA, which are call to action. And then the footer, we've got our benefits over here. So we've actually got additional 
pages, which is pretty cool, or it might be on one straight page, we'll see. So we've got a benefits page, we're gonna do our how it works page, and then finally our generate uh, FAQ page. Awesome, we're gonna go to theme, we're gonna pick out a theme. My theme is usually like a purple, so let's go for this bold tech theme and click next, and then go ahead and download those project files. We're gonna open up those project files, then let us get cursor up and running. Let's open up a new project. So let's create a new folder. Let's call it private AI community landing page. Cool, create that. Let's open that up. We've now opened up cursor. Gonna copy all these files, drag them across. There you go. Easiest thing, open up your setup.md, close it again, come over here to your uh, agent section, click run at setup.md, and we go ahead and run that. Boom, straight up, quick and easy. Cool, and just like that, it's implemented our setup as well as our theme, just like our web app. We've got our local host running it here. I've loaded it up, and I'll actually drag that across and show you what it looks like. And this was through one prompt. We've got join our exclusive AI and automation community, remaining spots, you know, join the waitlist, pop in your email, you can add, and obviously this is a stock image, you could add in your own image, you've got all the different pages over here. So if you scroll down, you've got exclusive benefits, you've got how membership works, you've got frequently asked questions. So if you wanna spin up a waitlist or if you wanna spin up a landing page, you can so quickly and so easily. And think about it this way, you know, it's like you use copy coder, you use cursor, you collaborate those two together and you go on something like Upwork and Fiverr and you literally create landing pages for people. It's the easiest way to get involved in the AI and automation space, saying, or even any space for, for, for that matter, you're just using AI to create those landing pages. So you can go to people and say, hey, listen, you're an influencer, or you're someone of note, and you don't have a landing page, let me help you out. I can do one for you, and I can do it for a fraction of the price because you're gonna use these tools to your advantage. And that's just a thought, something you could use to, to get involved um, and get started in, in the space using AI to you know, make some money on the side because that's, that's what we wanna do, right? That's the practical tips we want to get across, and I wanna get across to you guys. So that's the video, I'm, not gonna, I'm gonna leave it there. Um, I think Copy Coder's new builder function or builder feature is really, really awesome. You should go check it out. There'll be a link in the description below. Also, like I said, obviously it's on screen now. The private community is open. The waitlist is open. There are only a limited number of spots available. So first come, first serve. And, you know, it's starting to, to kind of pack out a bit. So go and check that out. Hit the link in the description and sign up on the waitlist so that you're going to be the first to know when it launches and take advantage of everything that it has to offer. Other than that, I will see you guys on the next video. Cheers.